Good day learners, welcome to today's lesson. I am Ms. Ninobert Vermeulen and we will be spending some time on mathematical literacy and we will be working with, yeah, you've got it, time. Now, did you know, according to scientists, the faster you move, the slower time will pass. Now, that's weird, but they say, if you flew to the star Sirius at 99% of the speed of light and then flew back again, the people you left behind on earth would have aged by 17 years, but you would have aged less than two and a half years. So if you want to avoid getting older, run faster. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, convert between seconds, minutes, and hours, record time values and perform calculations with time, interpret time values on timetables. And our plan for today, the journey that we're going to be following, first we're going to look at time notations, the way you write time, then we'll go on to the conversions between hours, minutes and seconds, and then the one part we all love the most, calculations with time. What do you need to know for this lesson? Number one, the conversion principle. And number two, how to read time values on a clock, a watch, and a stopwatch. Let's look at an example. Jane woke up on Saturday and saw the time on a wall clock. What time did she wake up? So this is now an analog clock. We know it's in the morning because they say she woke up. So what's going to happen? There is six o'clock. So it's seven. It's just past seven there. And then we look at the minutes, the hand showing minutes. That's five, 10, 15. So then it's going to be 7, 15 a.m. And that is the quickest way that you can read time from a clock. When Jane started with her first shopping, sorry, sorry. When Jane started with her shopping, she noticed the following on her watch. Write the time in analog format. Now, this clock is quite an interesting one because it gives you the AM and PM, but it is still digital. So if I need to write it, in um, analog, it would have been 11, 34, and then AM. Luckily for us, there's a crop note there. Let's look at another example. Jane is busy completing her mathematical literacy homework. In order to prepare her for test, she decides to time herself while working on a question. How long did it take her to complete the question. Now, the first thing that we need to realize here is they are not asking us to give a time. They want duration. So we cannot go and simply copy five minutes and 27 seconds and think, there we go, it is done. We need to say, well, okay, the stopwatch, she started and stopped, it was five minutes and 27 seconds and then because it's duration we need to write it in words five minutes and 27 seconds that is how long she took to do this question let's look at the new words that we will be working with an uh, analog clock, that is a clock with numbers, 1 to 12, around the outside. There's two arms, the shorter arm measures the hours, and a longer one that measures the minutes. A stopwatch, it's a timepiece designed to measure the amount of time that elapses between its activation and deactivation. 12-hour format, the 12-hour clock, runs from 1 a.m. to noon and then from 1 p.m. to midnight. For example, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. 24-hour format is 24-hour notation. The day begins at midnight, which is 0000, 
And the last minute of the day is 23.59. Example, the school will be dismissed at 14.15, which is quarter past two in the afternoon. Then a calendar. A calendar is a chart showing the months, weeks, and days of a particular year. Your digital clock. A digital clock simply shows the numbers to denote the time. And now it is time for an ad break. See you again shortly.